इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट बार पेंडुलम व्हाट इज ए बार पेंडुलम बार पेंडुलम इज ए यूनिफॉर्म बार हैविंग होल्स ऑन आइदर साइड ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी द लेंथ ऑफ द बार पेंडुलम इज वन मीटर द होल्स आर ड्रिल्ड फाइव सेंटीमीटर एपार्ट There are two knife edges on either side of the bar pendulum. Time period of bar pendulum. How will find out the time period of bar pendulum? Bar pendulum is basically a compound pendulum, and this is the point of suspension, and this is the center of gravity of the bar pendulum or the compound pendulum, and small l is the length. Uh, between point of suspension and center of gravity and capital l is the length uh, called the equivalent length of the simple pendulum so you have to remember these two length capital l equivalent length of the simple pendulum and small l is the distance between point of suspension and or point of oscillation and the center of gravity and when you tilt the bar pendulum or the compound pendulum the weight will be acted in downward direction mg the weight will be acted in the downward direction and this component will be equal to mg cos theta and this component will be equal to mg sin theta and mg sin theta will be the driving force okay so what will be the torque as you know torque is the cross product of force and displacement so torque will be equal to mg sin theta into l small l and since the angle of oscillation is very small we can substitute uh, theta in place of sin theta so tau will be equal to mg l theta and here uh, the tau you know tau equal to i alpha that is equal to mg l into, into theta since the direction is opposite that is the direction of driving force is opposite to the direction of the applied force so you here use a negative symbol and uh, alpha will be equal to minus mgl divided by i here i is the moment of inertia here i is the moment of inertia of the bar pendulum and alpha is the angular uh, acceleration so alpha will be equal to minus mgl divided by i into theta as you know the relation between acceleration and displacement in simple pendulum we have deduced this equation that is a equal to minus omega square into x and if you uh, write in place of a alpha and in place of x theta for angular then that the equation will be equal to alpha is equal to minus omega square into theta so this is a well known uh, well known equation for simple harmonic motion so if you compare this two equation this one and this one then omega square will be equal to how much omega square will be equal to square root of mgl uh, omega square will be equal to mgl divided by i and omega will be equal to mgl divided by i um, square root and we know omega is equal to twice pi n or twice pi by t n is equal to 1 by t so twice pi by t equal to mgl divided by i so t will be equal to twice pi square root of i divided by mgl so this is the expression for the time period of compound pendulum or the bar pendulum to find out the acceleration due to gravity at a place using bar pendulum you make small oscillation you make small oscillation you see this is the small oscillation and you observe the time period using telescope using a telescope you observe the time period and you keep the knife edges at 5 cm 10 cm 15 cm up to 40 cm on either side of the center of gravity you see 
you make oscillation like this and if you plot a graph taking the distance from center of gravity the small l along the x axis and along the minus x uh, axis and the time period along y axis then the nature of the graph will be like this one graph for uh, one side will be like this and another graph for the other side will be like this and why does the time period of the bar pendulum first decreases and then increases we have proved that the time period of bar pendulum is t equal to twice by square root of i divided by mgl square root and if you apply parallel axis theorem then i will be equal to i g plus m l square where i g is the moment of inertia about the center of gravity which is equal to m k square here k is the radius of gyration so i will be equal to m k square plus m l square you substitute the value of i in equation 1 in equation 1 you see t equal to twice pi square root of i divided by mgl you substitute i value equal to m k square plus m l square if you substitute you will get t equal to twice pi square root of m k square plus m l square divided by mgl square root and m cancels so t will be equal to twice pi k square plus l square divided by gl square root so you see t will be minimum when l is equal to k if you substitute l equal to k then t will be equal to minimum then the minimum value of t time period is equal to twice pi square root of 2l divided by g and if you plot a graph taking l along x axis and t along y axis then the nature of the graph will be uh, as given here that is why the time period of a bar pendulum first decreases and in, then increases because this is this graph is from the equation t equal to twice pi square root of k square plus l square divided by gl if you plot a graph taking l along x axis and t value along y axis then the graph will be like that then what is the equivalent length of a simple pendulum which gives the same frequency as the compound pendulum or bar pendulum from bar pendulum we have deduced t equal to twice pi square root of k square plus l square divided by gl square root this is from bar pendulum and from simple pendulum we have deduced t equal to twice pi square root of l by g so if you compare these two equation then what will be l l will be equal to k square divided by l plus l so you see in bar pendulum you have two length this is one length which is from center of suspension to the center of gravity and this is another length okay so how you will calculate this length that is k square by l from experiment you see in this graph after plotting this graph if you draw a straight line parallel to this l axis or x axis this straight line will meet this graph at four points a b uh, d and e and these are the points where the time periods are equal at these four points the time periods are equal and from a to c c is the center of gravity and uh, a is the uh, point of uh, if a is the point of suspension uh, then from a to c this is the length l small l and from c to d this is the length what we have uh, what we have deduced here that is k square divided by l so to calculate the equivalent length of the uh, compound pendulum you have to take the length ac plus cd and this you can find out from either side from this side you can also find out the length from e to Uh, c then from b to c that is ec plus bc so the equivalent length can be calculated as follows ac plus cd plus this is one equivalent length another equivalent length is 
ಡಿ ಸಾರಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಲ್ ಟಿ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಬೈ ಎಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎ ಡಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇ ಬಿ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಬೈ ಟು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಫೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೆಂಗ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಸಲೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಜಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಜಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೋರ್ ಪೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಎಲ್ ವೈ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಬೈ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಎಲ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ ಎ ಎಲ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಗ್ರಾಫ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸ್ಲೋಪ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಎಲ್ ಬೈ ಟಿ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಮೈನ್ ದ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಆಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಗ್ರಾವಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬಾರ್ ಪೆಂಡುಲಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಕೆ